by having this buffer out here, I'm hoping it helps us have an impact on the virus. You know what attracts aphids in my garden more than anything that I have is lupin. Oh, really? Yes. They're all, I mean, I lose one lupin plant every year. And they just swarm it. They just it, swarm yeah. it, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and so we actually mowed this down once and we still had so such a resurgence and so much came back because we just mm. to control the weed pressure we didn't want the pig weed or anything going to seed so we mowed it down mm. once and man it's just and it's interesting it just, it's real spotty based off the soil type too this is a real heavy soil right in this it's little yeah. patch here yeah you, you see and you go a little further and you can't find anything in it. you know we're talking that competition i mean that's an absolute classic to start there's even more it's there they've the fact they're still alive, even better. Yeah. And you know, yeah, it's just, it's just really interesting. We see this all the time. We saw it yesterday. Um, a fellow had planted rye and he had a weed, um, what you call a weed, I don't think it's a weed. Um, kosher. Kosher. I think it's a beautiful plant. The potato guy, it's a weed. <laughs> but when I'm grazing the green manure, it's not. His rye had come up under the, the kosher plants are about this high. Mm -hmm and the rye had come up directly underneath them and not between, or where it come up between them it had died. It come up and it was dying. Underneath it was just going yeah, to yeah, just more And the grasshoppers on soil were too? eating it out there. Grasshoppers were eating that and not eating it under those plants. I mean, everything was okay. just, well, it was water. They were running out of water out there, yeah. not running out of water under that plant. And actually when we dug under the kosher plants, it was quite moist under them. Yep. Look at that oak plant there right near your foot, George. Yes, yeah. you know, look at it. Don't so good at Sorry, I'll get this in a minute. I'll take the lens cap off to really help. <laughs> get the right, everything right. Put it on macro so it comes out to focus. Fantastic. Looks good against your arm. Okay. So what we're seeing there is all those roots are covered in riser sheets. Okay, they've got soil sticking to them. Actually, you could even take a photo up against the... Can I get somebody to hold that up here? Can you think hold it up against the More sky? of a contrast. So yeah. I get more of a yeah. contrast. If you want to take photos of plants, it works really well. Um, well you take the lens cap off. <laughs> uh, I need, yeah, hold it from the top, sorry. I just want to see the roots. I might not be the one I've got a shaky hand. <laughs> um, a lot of back. Okay. Better than we've seen around any of the brassicas that we've seen so far. Because um, there's just so many finely branched roots. Yeah, we'll like it's absolutely. Got some little creepy crawlers in there. Yeah, off that, like, the residue mat. And... That's the other thing that we've been missing in a lot of the stores. We've seen some earthworms, but I think we saw a little centipede and we saw a nematode, but not really a lot of stuff. But yeah, just look what those. So even though this is tap rooted, it's actually formed a lot of fibrous roots, yeah. more than we've seen. Well, I mean, this like a lot of that too is just, I mean, it's, it's been, been pretty drought. As well. It's been yeah. pretty stressed. There's times, I mean, yeah. it looked very sickly out here. Wow, that's that's beautiful. I mean, we're pushing the limits to what Look at this, this plant can Look grow. Look at that. In. Yeah. Like those roots that are hanging down there. I mean, that's Hold off a tap rooted, I'll get a photograph. That's off a tap-rooted plant. Or when you're building have... topsoil, the plant is the driver, and you've got to push the plant to build the soil, because it'll yeah. be a lazy plant. If you yeah. give it all the water it needs, all the nitrogen it needs, yeah. it's not going to do anything. Well, that's this. kind of the thing I wanted to see out here. I've never had the opportunity to see here. how much I can grow on, how little. <laughs> that's not two irrigations. I it was enough to get it to germinate, then I didn't run it out here oh, anymore. Look at these. Like it's forming all this. <coughs> I mean, that is just gorgeous. We didn't. We have not seen this on a brassica plant, have we? Well, you no, we haven't. See yesterday, yeah. even the day before, we you didn't, didn't see, see it, this. Yeah. The brassicas were coming out with clean roots, and it was only the grasses that were mm. coming out. What with. variety is this? You know, uh, it's a collard. Is it? Yeah, this is a grazing collard. Pretty, I mean, these will overwinter too. I think I'll see a lot of these out here next year without oh. drones. Yeah, I've got some left that are two years old now. Yeah, they just keep yeah, growing, keep coming back. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. It's my first year. I did this is it, the so first I, year, yeah. I don't know. Here's a uh, blue cornflower still looks pretty nice. It yeah. smells nice and healthy. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it probably helps that there's a canopy of other plants. Well, too, that's all day. My brother asked yeah. if I was going to come yeah. mow. I said no, because you know there's a nice little habitat here. The birds are coming in, eating yeah. sunflowers. Yeah, sure. I'm sure, there's all kinds of crit rodents and stuff cruising through here. And I kind of just want to let it be. And how much precip is this head? Uh. Just same as the potatoes. It was pretty heavy because I mean it's getting watered with the potatoes. Right. So I mean, 14, 15 inches. Okay. I mean it's it's been a pretty good amount. And you can see those, those sunflowers have just been picked dry by the birds. Uh huh. 
And so this strip was enough this is... to cover these pieces. I doubt it. You, okay. The I little moss. It's a little part of really dry and all the vines are grown under uh, well under irrigated. They've been putting that now between the between the vines mm. and they've reduced their water use by 40%. Wow. Not only that, there's another little thing like a wasn't it? Did you call that a cornflower? Yeah, a blue cornflower. Corn it's actually something shorter than a corn. Most of their things they're put in are only about to get to this high mm -hmm. now. There's a little blue furry thing. Someone said the name of it, I'd go, yeah. Uh, That's it. It's, it's a, it's a purplish blue. How about the phacelia? Um, forage? No, it becomes a weed. It's a very soft Mowing? flower. It becomes a weed in some places. Um, huh. Anyway, they've got that and a whole variety. They've got some calendula and stuff in there. So they've got this flower mix that they're using. Reduce the, there's a good calendula there.